Oh man, what a depressing weather. <laughs> Project character in zebras, 3D modeling, creating, sculpting. Gonna be fun. Cause I need to do something. I'm a little bit lagged behind with my stuff. So I need to go in playoff mode. Just like LeBron said, man. I will be just focused for five weeks only on that project. Not this one here. <laughs> this is a side or hobby project that I'm just drawing around. What my project is, is the character. And that I will be focusing five, six weeks only on that. And you guys are going to see that. By seeing, I mean showing you a time lapse of my work. So, for example, right now, I'm showing you my whole process of my drawings and my work of this morning before going to school. And there I will be explaining the problem, solution, and what should I do better next time. Hey Bixby, is it going to rain today? Yes, it will be raining. Hmm, 92% of brain, okay. <sighs> That's the only reason why I love Bixby. <laughs> to ask the weather and set our alarm clock. Only those two, else it's useless. <laughs> anyway, school time. I need to prepare in 10, 10, 10, 20 minutes. My boss is gonna come, so I need to ready up. Since I was busy with my drawing in the morning, I had to learn all of my stuff in the train and the bus while going to school. I can remember I was in learning mode. I was analyzing, listening, every word, every syllable, what my teacher said and write it down, the methods, the workflow, everything. I was fixed, 100% focused on my school and I have to be honest sometimes it was so boring but I keep going and going and going <laughs> and I also felt my brain couldn't keep up with all the information that was being displayed by my teacher but I said you know what no I'm in learning mode I'm going to keep on the learning mode for five weeks I'm basically like Rocky who's training every day but just using my brain cells and since I was listening like a good old puppy I had a bunch of questions that I want to be answered. And that is what you're seeing right now. He answered all my questions that I wanted and also gave me an example with the dog. The answers were okay at best, but it didn't really make me understand why he's using the workflow that he taught us. And that is the problem with him. He's only uh, really good in zebras, but in Maya, Unreal Engine, rigging, and Amazing, he has no idea. Which means he cannot give us a good example how it will affect our animation, rigging, when we use his workflow. Which means I have to go now to the internet and look a bunch of tutorials where my questions can be answered much much better. Which is kind of depressing because you're paying a lot of money for the school and you don't have a really good teacher who cannot answer you the basic questions and even your supervisor and headmaster can't give you a good answer to your problem. So you have to rely on the internet where everything is free and they are giving you a coherent, simple answer to your problem, which is, well, uh, not fair. <laughs> so you know what? I'm just going to wing it, to be honest. I'm just gonna use the workflow that my teacher gave me and the other workflows that I saw on YouTube to sculpt my character. Basically, try and error, experiment, cause that is the most valuable thing, experimenting. And with experimenting, you can gain experience. And with experience, you can then know for sure if the workflow is working or not for your project. And to be honest, that is the most valuable thing as a student who is trying to get into the industry. <sighs> Maybe one thing that I could improve is I should not stay up so late, like 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. It's 3.18. I need to be actually at bed at 3 or 2 or at 1. <laughs> so that's why I never say a little bit, a little bit, because that will make you stay up late. That is what I can leave you 